I'm Jacob Zacks, MusicQuest founder and CEO. I'm thrilled to give you a tour of our MusicQuest dashboard, which is the teacher's platform for all things MusicQuest. Teachers need to be able to review data, set up accounts, make sure that sign-in goes seamlessly, and this dashboard does all of that after years of refinement. So let me get into it and show you what we've built. You can see there's navigation here on the left-hand side from the school level to the class to help and resources. I'm on the school overview page, which gives you the best immediate sense for what's happening in your school with MusicQuest. You can see a graph of recent activity here. I can tap in and get additional information and drill down on who's doing what on any given day. I can also see some of the top songs that have been made in my school recently and play those directly on the dashboard. Nice work, Elijah. I, if I'm proud of that or think it's strong work, I can go ahead and share it, add it to a student portfolio, send it to his parents, or even share with my educator community or my school community. And this gives you that window into what the individual work, the creative, expressive work your students are doing. We also have some information on the school here farther down, and then, of course, the students that are in the school, which can be filtered in all the ways you'd expect, looking at different classes. It can be searched for the students that you want to check out and how they're doing and more. In fact, I'm going to go to the Manage Students page to tell you a little more about those functions. From here, we can easily uh, manage all sorts of things with students. We can add them to classes or delete them. We can select large numbers or um, just one or two students at a time. We can import a spreadsheet to create bulk accounts from a roster management program, or we could add a student directly. Let's say Bobby, Jess, create that student. And he's now in the dashboard just that simply. You can see him there. We can also look at individual student um, settings. So these are accessibility settings that make the program more usable for them, whether they have theme music on, how easy it is to create notes, what their instructions are like. We can uh, edit the student's personal information in terms of their password, their username, if we need to. Of course, we can assign them to class. And we can also view their activity. And we can see Matt here has made a few songs to start. Uh, and that's great. That's what Music Quest is all about. So a lot's possible here on the students page. If you need additional classes, it's as simple as can be. You can add classes with just a single click. Let's say fifth grade and create that. It exists now. You can navigate between classes over here on this left hand nav and see that that will uh, propagate. And if we want, we could very easily add students to this class as well via the manage roster functionality here. We could edit it as well. And always there's the opportunity to delete something if you need to. If you do, you'll get a warning because this dashboard is really built to empower you and make sure there aren't any issues. Um, but if you press go ahead, OK, that class will disappear. Everything's working exactly like you'd expect. The student sign in function allows you to do a lot of awesome stuff with sign in. For instance, I can copy a class login link, paste it over here. It'll take a second to load, but I'm now going to see all of the students in this super awesome class and they can log in without typing anything. All they have to do is click on their name. Let's say I'm Janice Joplin. I'm very clearly not, but why not? And this student clicks on their name. If they made a mistake, they can say, that's not me. If they're ready to go, let's make music. And they're logged all the way into MusicQuest, again, with no uh, typing, just one click. We can see on Janice's account here, there are some assignments. Assignments are another functionality of the MusicQuest dashboard from the curriculum guide. Uh, and we have an extensive content library in MusicQuest, hundreds of lessons, thousands of musical activities. We're doing a lot more on this curriculum guide page soon which we're excited to share with you. It's taking a second to load here, but once it's up, you'll be able to see all the quests in Music Quest, the lessons they have, and then drill down into additional information. You could assign the quest directly. You could go to the quest in Music Quest, which will open it so that you can actually play with it for yourself and see if it's something you'd want to introduce your students to. Or as I mentioned, you can go to more details where then we're going to see all of the lessons that are in the, uh, a quest, we can see the tags, the concepts that are covered in those lessons, the assessment questions, 
and the standards that that lesson meets. And we can go one by one to see all of these, the information for these lessons in this quest. Uh, finally, there's the class level where you can uh, see what students in a specific class are doing. You can set accessibility settings for an entire class. And then you have your help, which is um, you're getting started, an onboarding flow to make sure this works smoothly for you, and your resources, videos like this, tutorial videos like this. So this is the MusicQuest dashboard in action. Uh, very proud of it. As you can see, I hope from this quick demo, it does everything you'd want. Data review, sign in, assignments and management. I forgot to mention it, but you can assign specific lessons. Just pull up a lesson and click here and assign that lesson. It will go out to whichever class uh, you want it to. So let's send that to my super awesome class and let's sign off of the dashboard to get some rest as teachers deserve. Um, but know that this makes things quicker and easier for you and it works every time.